Hey y'all, it's Nancy, the Handy Scandy. Thanks for joining me for another in my Halloween Ventures card series. I think this might be my sixth video. I'm not sure. I'll check. <laughs> I also think it's my 11th card overall. And today also serves as my Saturday offering for the Till Death Do Us Craft Halloween series. Whew, that's a lot. Today I'm going to share with you something that was new to me. It's called Pastelloween. And I'm calling this Pastelloween Magic. And I will have linked and listed my sweet friend Abby of Cat Paper Love on Instagram because she's the one that introduced me to Pastelloween. I never even knew it was a thing, but it's super fun. It's very non traditional in terms of Halloween colors, but it's so much fun. And so I thought I would take take a turn at it if you will and so I am stamping up the tiny sugar skull from the ink on three sugar skulls stamp set I've used this a time or two already this season <laughs> and I'm having fun with it it's super cute I'm noticing a Dia de las Muertos theme for me this year that I've never had before but I'm liking it so anyway I am just stamping this sweet little sugar skull overlapping about halfway and I'm just using my distress oxides in a very pastel rainbow there I'm stamping out two different blues trying to figure out which one is the more pastel and I honestly don't remember which one I went with <laughs> I think it's the new one what's the new one called speckled egg I think that's what I went with but anyway, I will try to have everything listed and linked below, as per always. And I just stamped this up going along in the rainbow. And the orange is a little more bright than I wanted it to be. But in the end, it all just works out, and it's so cute. And you can see that this one, as I stamp it, I don't have my paper lined up there in the misty. But it's okay. It works out as well. So this was super easy. But in the end... The card is very impactful, and I'm really happy with it. So I think this is maybe my 11th card altogether this season. I think it's my sixth Halloween video. But there have been several cards that I've shared on Facebook or Instagram or both that I didn't make a video for because... Guys, I just can't make a video for everything <laughs> as much as I'd like to. So much time goes into making a video. Like this card may have taken, I don't know, probably not even an hour. It's many hours of work going into, into the video process. Yeah, so anyway, here it is, and I'm loving it. Look how cute that is. And don't worry that I stamped over the words there because... Boom, there it is. I just trimmed that off. And so that blue interrupts the border on the right end and the, <laughs> the purple interrupts the border on the left end. And you saw my little happy dance there. I'm liking this card even from the beginning. <laughs> so here I am pulling out my uh, Simon Hurley Create. It's a background stamp called Flower Garden. And it kind of is poinsettia-ish. I'm not sure if it was meant to be poinsettias. I feel like it was released last Christmas, so that may have been the intention, but it's just floral and it's beautiful. And, you know, as I've said before, and if you already know, Dia de las Muertos is really heavy on the florals and the colors and the banners and things like that. So, on this background, I'm stamping this up with my Versafine, as always, um, or Versamark, I'm sorry. And then I use the Hero Arts White Satin Pearl Embossing Powder. So I stamp up this, it's about two-thirds, and I heat emboss, and then I go back and I do the, the that last little portion. But watch as this heat embossing just comes to life. It's so stinking pretty. Look at that. What is this magic? Isn't it gorgeous? So let's call this the magical Pastelloween. 
because there are other pieces where I just feel like other pieces of this video where I feel like it's just magic. Here, just putting the color over that heat embossing, I feel like that's magic. It's so pretty and it's such a simple thing to do. And you saw there was no skill, <laughs> no technique whatsoever. Just slapping on some ink. That's it. Wiping up the mess so that I don't bleed all the colors together. Oh, look at that. Oh, the blue is tumbled glass, though. You see it there? It's tumbled glass. It's not the speckled egg. That's right. The speckled egg was a little too gray, as I recall. Mmm. So pretty. And then I just go back over each of them with, with my rainbow colors just to make sure that there's a good blend and there's enough coverage of each color. And again, that orange, I, I want to say that it's the, the right persimmon. It'll show on screen here in just a minute. But it's just a little... Oh, Spice Marmalade. It's just a little too bold. But in the end, like I said, it works okay. Now here's another magical piece. Y'all keep watching. Don't look away. I'm just adding a little bit more yellow there. I think it's the scattered straw. But watch this. This emboss resist technique, magical. Because, yes, look at that embossing come to life. What? That never gets old either. I love this. And there's my fun skull strip. That's what we're going to call that, a skull strip. And then look, when it's lined up or layered up with the black, boom, it comes to life. And that's magical. Look at that. Look how bold those colors look against that black grounding them. Oh, loving it. And then I put that whole background panel up on black too. Magic. Pastelloween magic. Yep. So pretty. Not a lot of technique involved here today, but the ones that are used, I feel like are pretty magical. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Am I overreacting? Am I overpleased with myself? <laughs> I'm just holding it down because, of course, you know, I mounted it up on some of that fun foam and I obviously layered it with the black cardstock. And it's just cardstock from my stash. I could not even begin to try to tell you who it's from, who made it. Again, my guess, like I've said in other videos, is it's probably uh, Recollections or Park Lane because. Joann's and Michael's are where I shop locally the most. And I don't tend to buy um, colored card stock online, so my guess is it's one of those. And again, this is just the Walmart Fun Foam and that Elmer's Craft Tacky Glue from Target. So I love to shop small, so when I go online, I try to shop small. But of course, when I shop locally, I just shop wherever they have stuff I need. So, look at that magic. Magical. <laughs> just those beautiful colors pop so much when they're grounded with that black. I am loving that. And again, holding it down. And I struggle with sentiments, y'all. Does anybody else like sentiments are the bane of my existence sometimes? I know that sounds dramatic. <laughs> but it's just like, oh, the whole card comes together. And then I have no idea what to do with the sentiment. I often just leave it blank. No sentiment at all. But here, yet again, Simon Says Stamp. Pre-printed Halloween sentiment strips to my rescue. So many times this season. And there is... The beautiful card. Again, holding it down. Y'all, have you ever heard of Pastelloween? Do you know Abby at Cat Paper Love? Oh my goodness. She is the sweetest. And she's so very creative and so much fun. I'll definitely try to link her down below. So if you've done Pastelloween, if you're familiar, tell me what your experience is with it. Tell me what you think of this. Are you into it? Is it like, mm, no, too far off the traditional path for you or or are you totally into it I love it love it love it I think I went a little overboard with the sequence <laughs> what do you think <laughs> give me your opinions guys I want to know <laughs> 
All right, so this is Nancy the Handy Scandy. If you like this video, you know what to do. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you've not already subscribed, you know I'd appreciate it if you would. Obviously, I want you to leave a comment. I've asked several questions, and I'd love to hear from you. And I will be back very soon with another crafty venture. Thanks, y'all. Bye.